You know how I feel about Emily Stewart. You know that I feel she's like poisoned. And you. I'm not defending her. You defend her at every turn, Tommy. You were her lawyer, for God's sakes, among other things. Please don't. How dare you come over here and pretend that everything is hunky-dory and, and you don't even mention to me that you're working with this woman again. Um, you know, I just arrived and you already have company, remember? Thank God, because if Alec weren't here, so I'm telling you that. If you want to get together and talk about what's going on between us, I'm there because I have some questions about what's going on with you, too. You want to give us a minute? Certainly. Thank you. That is the second time that I covered for you. Now, don't tell me that guy means something to you, because if he did, you wouldn't keep lying to him. Oh, thank God he showed up when he did, because I don't know what I was thinking, Tom. You weren't thinking, honey. You were feeling the same thing I'm feeling. How could you do that? How could you work with her? How could you be with her again? Nothing's changed. Everything's changed. Just a minute ago, we were on the sofa about to no, make love. I don't want to talk. I don't want to think about this. Okay. But I'm not going to leave it like this. Just leave. Go. Go back to work. Go back to work and say hi to Emily for me. Go. So, you get everything cleared up? Yeah, I got everything cleared up with Tom. Now, there's a few things I gotta clear up with you, Alec. Why? What did I do? Because you know the hell that Emily put me through last year, and yet you fire me and hire her. Margo, come on. Calm down. Calm down. Don't say calm down. I hate it when men say calm down to me. I Just... took Tom's recommendation. He seemed to think Emily could help. Well, she can't help. Margo, whatever his motives were, would he hire somebody who couldn't do the job? Cool. Let's just forget about Emily. Let's talk about us. Margo, I care about you. I want to be with you. That's why I couldn't have you around the office. You're too much of a distraction. Oh, great. Yeah, right. <laughs> Emily Stewart's not. Well, obviously, Alec, you haven't seen her dress for success outfit. She's a striking woman. So what? She's... <sighs> she lies. She cheats. She can't be trusted. She turns everything around to suit her own purposes. That's what she does best. And what about you? What about me, Alec? Can I trust you? What's really happening between you and Tom? Nothing is happening between me and Tom. Listen, thank you very much for coming over here and offering me the check. But as far as my fa finances are concerned, I don't want to take anything from Tom or you or anyone. So where does that leave you? I guess that leaves me job hunting. Margo, I'm sorry. I feel very bad that I let you go. You know what? PR's not really my thing, you know? I'm just a cop. What if... Hmm. What if I brought you on as a consultant? Well, now, Alec, is that a roundabout way of offering me a handout? No. No, it's a very direct way of saying I let you go and I shouldn't have. Feel guilty? I got an idea. Why don't... Because you said you were worried about being the next target for whomever it was that took out Gary Rady. Why don't you let me consult with your security team? That's what I do. I'm a cop. And that way, Alec, I can keep an eye on you. And I can keep an eye on you at the same time. Okay. We got a deal. That'll work for me. Danny's here. Yes. <laughs> Emily brought him to work. Well, why did your mommy do that? <gasps> Look at my mommy. <laughs> why do you think his mommy did that? He's the bait, <gasps> darling. You're the catch. Emily is just planning to have filet of dawn. Yes, she is. For, oh, it's all right. Just for lunch, breakfast, dinner, 30 years worth. Yeah, well, she's yeah. just going to have to fish. In other waters, oh. Margo and I are getting back together. Is that true? Yeah, it's oh, true. <laughs> oh, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> yeah, me too. I didn't expect you back so soon. How's your day? Not bad. Not uh, not bad at all. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sorry, I know it's really hard, you know, when you see your wife with another man all hot and heavy. Oh, I'm not that upset, you know? <laughs> after, uh, after the reception I got, I'm not very worried. Excuse me, Lisa, do you mind? Uh, may I have a word with Tom in private? Why, no, actually, I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. No, indeed. Oh, where's that, that uh, article I asked you to do? Hmm? Oh, the I'll article. be filing in an hour, and you're going to want to have it for, for page one. Really, you certainly didn't take very long. Well, long enough to find out that Borden Township um, was promised town sewage two years ago, but the funds allocated for that purpose disappeared, so you smelled septic overflows, I smelled indictments, okay? I see. Very Well, I look forward to reading that. Yes, I do. So tell me, what about this uh, reception of yours? Look, uh, I'm not saying this to hurt you, Emily. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Can I have my son, please? Come here. Yeah, I, I can take it, <laughs> really. Um, you need to know about Margo and me. We were alone today, and I found out what I've been hoping to find out. Can I ask what that was? Yeah, I still have her heart. She has mine and always will, and Emily. That is never going to change. Well, I think she got the message. Oh, honey, what are you talking about? Emily, she has no self-respect, no self-esteem. She has no ears, shame, Mom. No... I told her. My future is with Marco. Oh, I see. Well, uh, I, I wish I could really believe that myself, Mom. Darling. Believe it. Is Alec out of Margot's life? Well, not completely out of her life. She's playing some kind of game. Oh, come on. What kind of game? Well, I don't exactly know. I, when she found out that I got Emily a job here, she kind of clammed up. Oh. Oh, oh I, I see. Well, then it, now it's clear. Your wife is still uh, involved with this man. And uh, she's furious with you because you brought this bimbo in, the bimbo who had your baby, and you're going to work with her 39 hours a day. I don't know. No wonder. Well, now you're feeling that, oh, there's great hope for your marriage after all. Mom? What? I'm going to get Margo back. <laughs> I just have to regain her trust. And I know exactly how to do that. Then you do that. You work on Margo. Leave Miss Emily to him. Don't you worry. I'm not gonna let that Margo destroy our lives. No. You and your daddy and me, we're all gonna be together. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make that happen. I know. I know. Mr. Wallace came over to the house, and I got him to offer me the position of security consultant. And isn't that great? Hell, I've got access to so many more things now. <laughs> you know what? I, I, don't, I don't care how Tom feels about it. This is my job, and I gotta do it. I'm gonna see it through to the end. No, it fell into place beautifully. Margot Hughes was out of the office, but I can still keep tabs on her. She's at arm's length, but not out of reach. Look, I'm gonna need you back here in Oakdale for one more hit. Target, you're in for one hell of a surprise. Mm -hmm. 